Um, the Halo is the hybrid fractional laser that I talked about earlier. And uh, I'm gonna do a demo. This is actually the most popular technology procedure in our med spa. Um, and we, as our experience with it has gotten greater, um, we've gotten really, really nice results with it. And most recently, actually after hearing this idea from, from Dr. Bitter, uh, we've been combining it with broadband light. So we'll do the broadband light first, and then we'll do the halo treatment, which really has been very synergistic. I showed you that photo of that Asian patient, type 4, type 5 skin. We got really significant clearing of her pigmented lesions by doing a combination of BBL and, um, and, and halo. Uh, thank you, Dr. Karimi. Um, I've used uh, Cyton's uh, BBL, which is their IPL technology, their pulse-like technology for the last 10 years, and they have done probably 16,000 treatments on people with, uh, with BBL, uh, and probably at least 50 on myself. So it's, uh, I've, I've really liked uh, the way BBL works. Um, the protocols, which I'll talk about on Sunday, uh, the, the multiple passes that you can readily and easily do, the uh, two-step process to rejuvenating skin. So what I like about uh, Cyton's technology, the BBL, is its great flexibility, the ease of changing on the fly the cutoff filters, which fit right into the handpiece, um, the uh, choices that I have with parameters that allow me to treat skin types one through six with BBL. So I can adjust the parameters with Cyton's technology to be able to treat skin type 6. And the other benefits are um, uh, the ability to really do anti-aging treatments with, uh, with um, pulsed light uh, in Cyton's BBL. And so the protocols that I use for anti-aging to keep skin young and healthy, which is a huge area that I think a lot of us haven't really had a focus on because so much is about correcting. And I'll talk about that on Sunday as well. Um, and as Dr. Creamy had said, uh, on one device from Cyton that has the broadband light handpiece as well as the halo laser handpiece, which he'll talk about and demonstrate, we can easily do a combination treatment and do a rejuvenation with broadband light just before doing the uh, fractionated hybrid uh, ablative um, and, and non-ablative laser treatment with a halo. Uh, the benefits there are, when you combine the two, is that the broadband light clears pigment, erythema, and telangiectasias, and gets an overall kind of textural effect on the skin. And the halo gets a complementary textural effect on the skin. So you can improve redness like poikiloderma on a neck, or patients who have rosacea and sun damage, where you can treat both in one treatment session their erythema, flushing, and telangiectasias with broadband light, and then improve any sun damage they've got in their skin with the halo. So it, it's a uh, combination that's unique. Uh, the downtime with the halo, Dr. Cream will talk about really the limited recovery time that patients have and the, the comfort with doing treatments. While Dr. Bitter is going to do a couple of flashes of the, uh, the BBL, and just for time uh, purposes here, we're just going to do the, the forehead. And also, as you guys know, um, in males on, on uh, bearded, uh, the bearded skin, if you do a um, IPL or a BBL, you can actually diminish the hair follicles. And so that's important uh, to know as well. So we're just going to do the upper third of the face for, uh, for Matthew. Um, I do have a disclosure. Uh, Matthew gave me a free ski lesson earlier. Um, so uh, this is how I'm repaying him. Um, so we're going to do just uh, some flashes there of the BBL and Dr. Bitter uh, is going, looks like he's using, let's see here. Do you want to just talk a little bit? Sure. Right um, one other uh, feature of Cyton's technology that uh, made a tremendous difference in what I could do with IPL photo rejuvenation for patients are these spot adapters. Um, I'll try to show that. And there, so this is the uh, uh, spot size. This is a square 15 by 15 millimeter spot adapter. There's an 11 millimeter circular spot adapter. Um, I'll talk on Sunday about this, but I rejuvenate eyelid skin and ear skin. And so I'll talk a little bit about 
uh, just rejuvenating the entire ear with, uh, uh, and how easily you can do that with Cytan's broadband light. So ears aren't left behind anymore in treatments on people who had red faces with red ears. You can make redness on the ear go away, the photo damage on people's ears go away. And I treat the infra eyebrow skin and I treat lower eyelid skin. And I do that, can you, do you have the uh, 11 millimeter circular adapter? I'll do that with the 11 millimeter circular adapter. And when you're in anti-aging treatments, if you're using uh, broadband light for the anti-aging treatments with it, you don't want to leave out eyelids. So with the 11 millimeter circular adapter, um, and I teach this technique, how you can treat lower eyelid skin very safely. I've done thousands and thousands of eyelids. I treat my own eyelids with this technology and the spot adapter. So in the interest of doing a, just a demonstration to show you, um, I brought up the manual mode screen. I have a choice in fluence, which with the 560 filter. So he's a skin type three, got sun exposure scheme. Um, and I would treat him at, if we're doing just photo rejuvenation first step, um, eight joules or nine joules, 10 millisecond pulse duration, the 560 filter, we have 10 millisecond pulse duration, and cooling at 15 degrees. And then I'll use the large spot size to treat the cheek area in, in women. It's typically about two passes, uh, and I do multiple passes always for photo rejuvenation. I'll explain on Sunday why multiple passes is so much better for rejuvenating skin and for anti-aging benefits. Um, so gel, and we will thank you. And I. I start typically in the pre-auricular or pre-trichal, pre-sideburn area when it's uh, on a male face. Uh, if, the, if the treatment's uncomfortable, a little trick is just to put the smaller spot adapter on. Put a square adapter on and it's way more tolerable and comfortable. Um, but are you ready, Matthew? We'll start with this parameter. I do about eight to 10 of these treatments a day in, in my office. And then I delegate it also to my nurses. Okay. So this is, the, uh, this is a delegable uh, service, but I really have a lot more respect and appreciation for the technical nuances that go into getting a good result from this. And so um, I really would challenge all of you to really take it to the next level and, and really learn how to do IPL or BBL well, because that's where you're gonna get really much better results. So you're gonna stay out of trouble. I think the, the BBL and the IPL, if you don't respect it, you can get burns, you can really have a big problem on your hands. And so um, taking some time to learn the parameters, learning, and you know, as these other technologies are coming out, it's becoming safer and safer. You can just push the skin tie, push this and that, but understanding the, the wavelengths, understanding the jewels, understanding the pulse widths, the cooling, um, it's, it really is worth it. So I'll go ahead and start. I start usually the forehead with a square adapter in between the eyebrows and overlap about 30%. And you can see how fast it is at one pulse per second. So typically a forehead on uh, a woman is about 100 pulses for two passes. And on a larger man's forehead, especially with a receded hairline, it could be about 150 pulses. That takes about two minutes to do. So that would be, and then I go all the way down to the temple, like that, and then I'll come back from the temple, lateral campal area, and I'll come all the way back here. And I think just in the interest, uh, that would be a second pass, and then I go to the other uh, half of the forehead. But I'd like to, and I'll show you just a technique to how I treat the, um, I need the 11 millimeter circle adapter, thank you. Okay, just how I treat eyelid skin and how brilliantly the spot adapters are. So I treat the infra eyebrow skin, not over the closed globe. And I do this for all the anti-aging treatments when I'm using broadband light. And I'll take a tongue blade, lift it up, and I'll just treat like this. I adjust the parameters usually, go up uh, when you go to a smaller spot adapter. This way you protect the eyebrow and you improve any crinkliness in the skin, brown spots, freckles, so now you remember the days, uh, if you remember the early days with IPL, um, where you had uh, skin looking really clear, but the periocular area was all freckled. Well, we don't have that anymore. So, and then the lower eyelid skin, I'll actually show, if you turn a little bit to the side, it might be easier to see. 
and then treating the lower eyelid, I'll take the goggles. I'll have the skin pulled down. Matthew, if you want to just pull your cheek down there. I know it's slippery with the gel. So, and then, okay, there you go. And then I treat this lower eyelid skin over the orbital rim, above the orbital rim. And with the 11 millimeter circle, I can get right up to the medial canthus. So dark circles under the eyes, vascularity under the eyes, freckles under the eyes, fine lines and wrinkles. And I'll do two passes that way. Um, you can rejuvenate eyelid skin. And that's all I've ever done. I'm 60 years old. That's all I've ever done for my eyes is that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bader. So, so when doing actually, so when we do a halo, a BBL and a halo, I actually just put corneal shields in because a lot of my, our patients really like to get the, the periocular rightids improved if you're just doing a BBL periocular. So I'm going to show you the halo here now. So with the halo, we can, it's like I said in the talk, you can do two, you're, you're, there's two different lasers. So there's a 1470 non-ablative adjustable between 200 to 700 microns and then there's a, uh, the 2940 ablative, uh, which is adjustable down to, I believe, 50 or 60 microns. So, let me just show you here. So the other nice thing about the halo is that you measure the area of the face. Um, it, you actually measure the surface area so that it can calibrate and calculate how much energy you're going to be delivering to each part of the face. So we're just gonna do the, the forehead here for the sake of time. Let's see, can you see, can you see the, can you see the platform there? Jamie, if I have you pull that. So we, you want me to turn it? Turn it towards you. Okay, well, not maybe the light is reflecting there. So we've set the settings already. So 400 microns, 20%, and I'll probably do a little less than that just you know, for the sake of time and, and we don't want to go too progressive. And then 20 microns at, uh, at 8%. So now we're going to uh, measure the face or we could just do an area as well. And the nice thing is you can measure the area that you're doing. So when we do neck, decolletes, arms, anywhere on the body, we can, uh, we can measure those areas. So now we're going to measure. So coming from the, the gobella to the tricheon here, and it has this dual roller, which will only fire when it has contact to the skin with both of the rollers. So that's a little bit added uh, safety measure as well so that you're not getting extraneous uh, beams. So uh, Dr. Moss was talking about um, satisfaction ratings. This is one of the highest satisfaction ratings in our office. On real self, it's actually 91%, which is pretty good. So we actually usually have, we'll give our patients the option to pre-medicate um, with Valium, with uh, Norco. We do give them Valtrex um, and prednisone as well because you will get some, some swelling with this procedure. And so um, we have our patients that are really tough and, and don't want to do it. It gets to about a five or six out of 10 in, in pain uh, during the procedure. And then it feels like a sunburn for about an hour. And then after that, there's uh, really, really no pain at all. And then you guys saw the, the healing diaries. So I'm just doing some different patterns here and I'm going back and forth Okay, so that's a 5% treatment, and I don't, I don't, you, there's no way you're going to see this. But you, know, you can check out Matthew's forehead later and see what 5% uh, treatment does, which is a really light treatment. So now I'm going to do the other forehead, and then we'll be done. And this, this heat kind of builds up. It usually doesn't start off too bad. We do usually have a chiller as well, which really helps with the... Um, with the pain. If you go over the hair a little bit, it's okay. It won't fry the hairs like a, uh, a photofacial will. And the key is just to kind of evenly go over all the areas, not repeat back and forth on one area. Okay, so we're at 5%. What is your pain scale? One. 
great. Now, that's a one right now because we're only doing a 5%, but in most of our treatments, which are probably on average between 20 to 30%, it will get up to five to six out of 10 in pain. And so um, we do pre, pre numb with uh, BLT for, for an hour. That makes it a lot more uh, tolerable. Thanks.